Heather was eight years old when I first met him. I noticed that he was a special player when he was able to take players with his speed and his technical ability. One-on-one -on -one ability is amazing and his finishing was just uh, beautiful. He was able to finish in all types of environments, all types of fields. So I knew that he was a special player very early on. I took him to Brazil for the first time at the under nine level and he went with an older team, U11, and he was wonderful. I've been playing soccer for, since I was four years old and growing up I've been playing like in the local leagues around my house or anything. I didn't start playing club until I was like nine and I've been playing with national team since I was 15 and now I'm trying to head, head forward and try to get to the U20 cycle because that's my, my year next year that he won. So I'm working harder trying to get on that U20 roster to go to the World Cup. Just by that, the time that we saw him play and touch the ball and a very natural left, lots of speed, lots of skill, we encouraged him to, to be part of our program and he's played with us countless, you know, the Dallas Cups and countless uh, league titles and wonderful player, very technical, wide player. I graduated in residency in Bradenton. I finished high school a year early when I was 16 and I was able to commit to UCLA. I didn't turn 17 until after the season was over. He got a call from the national team to go to, to try out for the residency program. And sure enough, he was chosen to go to UCLA and that was my dream for him to play where I played as a, as a player four years at UCLA and he was able to get in as a 16 year old kid playing. First game against Maryland, he was playing, I was so happy. I played in Costa Rica, Argentina, Europe, obviously in Japan, in too many places and they're all great experiences. Learn about the cultures in, in soccer, you learn a lot. I tried to take, to take my teams to always play at the higher level. We went to Europe several times with them and played at the higher level against teams like Real Madrid. You see the, the love of the game, how soccer is predominantly in first pages in all the newspapers. And even the girls on this recent trip, they were able to see that soccer is number one in some of these countries. And this is their life. And everyone plays, from the waiters to the, to the chauffeurs, everyone knows the game very well. And he had a lot of experiences as a young player, having played at the age of nine in Brazil, at the age of 12 in Europe, he had seen all these countries, and then when he joined the national team, he was able to play in many, many countries, including Argentina, in the Czech Republic, and Ireland, and so forth. It would be like a dream come true, playing a World Cup representing my country, and I think making that, I think all the hard work I've done since I was four would finally pay off, but obviously there's more to come because I want to make it to the pro level. So.